have to conduct a, a, an analysis. News 24 again, I made an example. I'm not saying we are not guided by ideology. We are guided by ideology. But the circumstances with your ideology force you to even work with people who necessarily do not share the same perspective as yours. Um, we have had uh, strange conditions in this local government uh, arrangements that we have. Uh, even with people who said that we will not work with ANC, but the winning, the outcome of the elections becomes something else. And then you must then begin to define models of the working together. The problem with the local government arrangement, it does not have uh, models. It is just working together. A mayor changes, can't lose it. A mayor changes over a weekend, and then you go and work with others. National government, you want to achieve stability, constitutionality, the rule of law, all of those things must then begin to guide us in this part. But equally, how do you satisfy the interest of the ANC constituency? That would, those six million people and more, how are they going to be served by the working relations between parties? Or is just, there is no honor among thieves, let's work together. It doesn't work like that. You've got to think deep and hard. And that's what we're doing, I can assure you. And uh, we can assure you, as the ANC, we are applying our mind and all of that uh, in terms of this. So I don't say that we are not guided by ideology. We do. And uh, we are guided also by principles. And uh, how do we serve the interest of the people of South Africa better? And uh, the group that brings us together is South Africans. And then uh, South Africa as a country, as a nation, must exist. Uh, beyond narrow political interest. We've got to serve the people uh, of this country. And, and, and that is what uh, is important. And uh, the constitutionality is very important. We can't just uh, throw the constitution away. Uh, talks about talks. Uh, we talk to people who are willing to talk to us, but equally the score don't guide us. Guidance, but uh, here is the meaningful party you've got to talk to. You don't just talk to everybody because it's time to talk. But even those who don't have the numbers, you talk to them. Uh, if they are willing to work with you, others don't even bother. Uh, I saw my man, he has resigned himself from president candidate to resign himself to a willing pendant. And uh, you see a person like those and all of that. And there are all sorts of models you need to work on. And you've got to agree to with people you are talking to. Would you want to consider a government of national unity? So there's a whole lot of things that you need to. And if I want to work with you and on a bilateral basis, what are we able to offer? And uh, the, those are the things that uh, we need to look at in terms of our Uh, pointing fingers uh, we will not have uh, the ANC because those fingers are many. Uh, they are many, they are more than ten. They are quite uh, abnormal. Uh, uh, there is no victor in losing. Um, but we are all victors when we win. Everyone wants to claim victory. Uh, the blame game will kick in. Certain things, so and so did not do this. There's no principled leader in an organization, especially like ours, who are there. You want to rise at the expense of others. Uh, you don't want to take responsibility. When you are a leadership, you sit down, you analyze. This is what we're going to do. And say, where did we go wrong? You don't uh, rise at the expense of others. Maybe certain things you could have done them better, uh, and all of that. And then uh, you look at also the good things that you have done. 
And what is it that you need to consolidate as leadership? So that those are the things leadership will will, 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 will help uh, us in terms of its convergence and meeting. Uh, playing game, uh, even the rumors are dangerous because you don't know who's really the rumors. Because the rumors could be coming from your opponents and your enemies to annihilate you politically. So you've got to be careful about the rumors. Things that just get to be said overnight. You don't want to accept the reality that you lost uh, in case of and free and fair to Jacob Zuma. Uh, you want to blame it on somebody. If others have aided Jacob Zuma, it's their choice. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that as we speak today, Jacob Zuma is a force to be reckoned uh, in the politics uh, of this South Africa. He is now 14% uh, uh, on the board. He has surpassed EFF. Nobody has surpassed us. We still there with a reduced majority. But uh, these ones have been surpassing each other. So Zuma displaced EFF. He will have, I'm sure, more than 50 MPs there, uh, in Parliament. Uh, so he's a force to be reckoned with in terms of his party and in terms of the outcome of this election. Uh, so I'm just stating a reality. I'm not uh, manufacturing my own thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm just explaining the fact that it doesn't serve the ANC or anyone uh, for finger pointing. Uh, that, is, that, that, that is the fact. Uh, Junior uh, was uh, the ANC who accused us of being arrogant. Um, we, are not, uh, we have not been. And it's a very interesting assertion that we are making that uh, you came across as arrogant. I don't think so. We humbled ourselves to the people and we seek to do things differently and uh, engage the people because if you are arrogant, you don't talk to the people. You take it as a, as a as given that the people will support you. I've given you a detailed account what we've done in this event to fight the demo of low voter turnout of our people walking away from the ANC. We knocked on their doors. We asked them because we saw the danger. And we have done everything. Uh, whether we have done everything to the point where we say uh, we exhausted everything, uh, in the book, uh, we will look into that when we meet and when we get uh, Uh, EMCA, uh, the will of the people, uh, will be reflected in our engagement. That is the starting point. Uh, entertaining everybody I've explained, it's not just us. We are engaging with everybody who matters in terms of the outcome uh, of the election. And uh, we are not, uh, I can assure you, we are not lying to people. Hey, when it goes to the path, we can't decide. We are not pulling people by their jackets. No, we are not. Uh, not this time around. Uh, we are not. We will talk to people, sense and politics and motives. We will engage. If you come to us with tents and all of that, we are not in that case. Given an examination to write again, those things we're not going to do. Uh, remember when we were engaging last time, other political parties gave us an exam uh, to write. If you come to us with that mentality, forget, just go. Just go on your own. We are not afraid to go to the benches. <laughs> we are not. That must be very clear to everybody. We are not arrogant not to work with anyone because. The people of South Africa have shown us what they, their wish is. And don't second guess us and lie about us that we've got a pact. I know some people is asking a very uh, 
provocative expression about 20 million. Why do you talk about 20 million and not talk about other parties who are talking to us? And then you raise 20 million because you are peddling the lie that the ANC is gravitating to the right, is having a deal uh, on with the DA, it is a dark deal. DA has got the respect for itself as a political party, it has got a constituency. The ANC has got a constituency, it has got leadership. It applied principles and all of that. So, there's a lie that has been going around to preempt any discussion, maybe between the ANC and the DA or the UM. It's not possible to do that to us. And you say, we must then go to terms with others. No. We have read it in the papers that certain parties have made demands. Our president must go. Uh, so and so, this and that. We don't know up until we meet eye for an eye. We have had some of them from this platform uh, of the media saying all sorts of things. But we have never had anyone saying they are not prepared to. I have explained we are entertaining everyone who met us in terms of the election outcome. Because the election outcome have told us that the ANC is number one, GA is number two, uh, Zuma is number three, EFF is number four, and then Anu is four uh, on the bottom. We will get the results today and they will tell us. ANC number one, DA number two. We've got six million people who have voted for us to continue. We've got to respect them. We can't just throw them in the tower. We've got to respect those people, respect South Africans who still want the ANC to continue to be in power and lead. And how we're going to deal with that is going to be in the detail of principles and how we're going to safeguard ourselves. And not only for ourselves, but for South Africa. For South Africa's stability and they're moving forward. So, the long and short of it, I'm saying we will not be bullied. And if we go to the branches, you will see the biggest opposition ever. <laughs> you have never seen in this country, ever, in the National Assembly. And we are not arrogant as though we have won power when we have not won power. We have not won power. Talk to the Inca African Party, yes, we will. Uh, and everyone else. NFP, we will. Uh, if Musama Imani, I don't know how many they are. Musimaiman, or whoever are going to talk, we will engage with them. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, some girl did structures betray us. That is a very problematic question. We don't just come out of the election and blame structures. We have worked very hard uh, for our victory. We need to analyze that phenomenon of case of N and the MK party. You see, when you look at the MK party, they collected some votes in Gauteng, and then they collected a big chunk in uh, Bumala, and then uh, they lost the vote in the time. So you've got to analyze that phenomenon as to how has it manifested itself. It goes back to that deep analysis we are going to conduct. Now, we are not going to conduct that analysis by starting to blame your structures and then start to see enemies all over. Uh, we knew Zuma would get support, but not this much. To be honest with you, we knew he would get support, but not this much. Um, our biggest worry based on the last election and as we do work in case of them was the uh, Incat African Party. And also the posture the Royal House has taken in this election. And uh, I so say uh, because it was moving away from us and all sorts of factors and uh, getting into politics of aiding the IFP uh, in this election. So, we are not in the blame game to say that, ah, we cannot be blamed. We are stating the facts. As we got into this election, everyone wanted us down, and, uh, including the media. Um, uh, and uh, you, you did your part, but, uh, but uh, we can't blame you. Uh, but you did. I mean, uh, the notion of change, began to take a different dimension. Uh, in the Q 
Christians and everywhere else. So uh, it happened, and uh, so uh, we stood our ground and we fought very hard and we lost. Did we commit mistakes? Yes, we did. We did commit mistakes in governance and uh, everywhere else. We need to analyze those mistakes. What are those? We don't do them. And then we need to analyze the bleeding that has been brought by JZ forming a party. If Zuma, let's say, he didn't form the MK party, he supported the ALC, we wouldn't be here talking about so and so. We would have crossed maybe to 8 million, even in a low voter turnout, cushioned by KZN and parts of Khaldi. And faced with a low voter turnout, we would have crossed. So it did eat into our base. Uh, and that is how difficult this election was. You know, and the EFF uh, and so on. So uh, not everyone got what they wanted, but we got uh, a bit most uh, to be below 50%. Now, democracy normalizes. You navigate through these processes. We have only seen this in advanced democracies in Europe, people navigating through coalitions. So we are in the era of coalitions. It started in local government, we are now at national government. So we, we need to study all the models of coalitions, how they work for stability of countries and all of that, even ourselves, without compromising the constituencies that we serve. So there are different models that we look at. And even political parties, I am certain, wherever they are, they are not stooges of the ANC. They are applying their money. Now that the election results are out, what is their thinking? Not rebel arousing. Not rebel arousers. 